all public and private K through 12 schools in our state will be ending, uh, they'll be stopped from providing traditional in-person instruction through the end of this school year in June. Um, I just reflect on the, the emotion of that closure when the governor made that decision. You know, I talk about it, it was like a light switch. A light switch, ending in-person schooling for the 2020 school year. For Pasco Superintendent Michelle Whitney, that's when she wanted to assure all students, especially the 2020 seniors, they weren't forgotten. The leadership of this state has relied on science to frame decisions about our community safety during this pandemic. When I look at the data in my head, I understand the why, but my heart is having a hard time catching up. Many things have been canceled, changed or postponed, but what has not been canceled, special. Also, for the students to not be forgotten, those who didn't have access to computers, they went door to door to make sure every student could participate in online schooling. We had principals and vice principals who were making home visits every morning. They would take six or eight laptops that hadn't been picked up and going to homes and dropping them off. Um, it, it wasn't very long but before our schools were reporting that 100% of their kids had laptops. So moving to the current school year and what to do. Superintendent Whitney listened to teachers, parents, and students at virtual town hall meetings which boasted up to 800 people participating. And as I came in as superintendent, listening to those that I'm in service to is a, a core value that I've held on to. Being able to do outreach with that volume of people in this uncertainty was really important. The week of April 19th, schools will have the option of in-person learning again. I asked, besides the omnipresent temperature checks and social distancing, what will be different? The instructional environment should look very similar to it did post or pre-COVID. The one thing that would look different and, and is going to be a lift for our teachers is we still have students who are being educated at home in our distance learning program. That will continue. And finally, I asked how the education system has changed through this pandemic. I think that education as a system is a slow moving entity and I think this environment has showed us that we can be more agile and nimble. And again, like I said, I, I would like to slow down the pace of change, but I also don't want to lose that disposition that really we can implement and pivot more quickly than we had in the sure. past.